Hello everyone. Welcome back to Asha.academy. Today again, let me take you through a passage which is not a brief one at all. It comes around 390 words, bonding by a fireside. Again, it's quite interesting a passage for you which has been culled out from the Hindu and I found this article really very interesting. Why? Because you know it's full of new words which will be helpful for you to improve your vocabulary and not only that one, to improve your mental dexterity. So, a fire draws people to its inviting circle of warmth by George Neto. In Munar and other hill resorts in the country, I have noticed that on a chilly night, nothing brings people together faster and closer than a campfire, a bonfire or even a small home fire crackling contentedly in a sitting room fireplace. So now you're going to read out this passage, scroll it down, pause this video for a while and get to know about the gist of the passage. And then here are a few questions for you, 10 questions for you to check your comprehension level. The very first question for you, what brings people together faster and closer? So out of all these alternators, you need to select the right one. Number two, what will people do to get rid of when they sit near fire crackling contentedly? Again, you need to select from the given options. Number three, the words that mean friendliness are, you need to select that one, the, the right option. And then pick out the statement which is not given in the passage again. So you need to rack your brain if you do have. What thoughtful idea was that? So you need to select the right answer here out of the given options. Number six, what is the meaning of the idiom cast to spell over? So you need to select the right answer. Number seven, choose the correct sentence, which is the correct sentence from the passage. You need to select it. Number eight, what was the aftermath of climbing up the hill? So again, you need to select the right one out of all the given options. Number nine, give the contextual meaning of star spangled night. So here again, you do have four options. Go for the right one. Number 10, what sort of feeling has the author mentioned in the last paragraph? So brotherhood, motherhood, friendship, none of the above. So you need to go for the right one, children. If your answers are correct, bingo, you do get full marks. Okay, would you like to know about the correct answers? Comment it there in the comment box. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me patiently. Please do like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.